Hey, so today we're going to be taking a look at the bulk message upload tool by Hootsuite. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is pop over to the publisher tab. Well, I guess the first thing you're going to want to do is log into Hootsuite. And then you're going to want to pop over to the publisher tab. Um, in that menu, you'll see the bulk message upload down here. Now, uh, I've been meaning to make a video about the bulk uh, upload for a while now because a lot of people ask about it. And it's something I use every now and then. It, it comes in handy when you have a lot of, of messages to schedule. Um, so I sign in today uh, to log into the original one and, and lovely surprise is that they have now come up with a new, uh, uh, a cleaned up version. So when you log in, uh, you just, just click that. I mean, if you've never used it before, the new one is, is a lot nicer. So let's just, let's just go with that. Uh, it gives you a little overview here. Uh, we'll just say try it now. Okay, so you land on the Let's Get Started page here. It kind of just explains what you need, a CSV file and a few details. So you upload your file here, pick what networks you want to use. If you don't want to shorten the links that you put in the in the file, you can click this. Um, on the on the right side here, it kind of gives you a little bit more of an overview. Uh, it shows you the examples here. So basically what you want to do, if, if you're not familiar with this at all, is you need to create a CSV file uh, with three columns. The first column is the date that the the message will be posted the second column is the actual message and the third column is a URL if you if you want to add one that's completely optional uh, you do need however a date and the message in order for it to go through uh, the, the easiest thing I find instead of creating one from scratch because I'm not sure about this one this is the first time I've used this but in the old one there was a lot of problems with formatting issues if you tried to upload uh, a CSV created in Excel, it sometimes caused issues. So the, the easiest thing to do is to download their example file here. Uh, that way you can just start with what they give you and then and then change it how you need. So we'll pop over here. Here is the is the example file that I've downloaded. So you can see they've got the three columns here with their dates. They've got these all scheduled in 2018. Uh, some example example text so so they've got them scheduled for new year's christmas so and so um, and then they've got the urls here you can see they've they've got the three in the top and then they've got this one uh without one because it, it the, the url is optional like we mentioned so now i'm going to pop pop over here um so now i have already created my list um, so basically, I put together a, a bunch of marketing graphics and I wanted to send out an individual tweet for each of them. And um, it might seem kind of spammy here, but uh, but that was the idea was just to, to tweet one of them every day. Uh, so I do one every day for the next uh, something like 215 days here. And what I've done is actually schedule them uh, starting tomorrow at 8.30 and then... Uh, every day moving forward plus a half an hour I, I added a half an hour just so the times would change every day I mean you could you could do that however you want but I just thought that way I'd be able to uh, to see which which times work better for me and or if or if any of them get more traction um, you could leave them all at the same time or change that however you want um, I can actually show you this now see I've these are all just the actual values left here so I can show you instead of if you have a whole bunch of posts and you, you don't you know you want to schedule one every day but don't want to fill in all the dates uh, I can quickly show you how to do that so essentially the dates if, if we go back to their tab um, here they get the formats and rows here so basically the the date field needs to be in one of these four formats uh, day month year hour minute month a year hour minute year month day hour minute or year day month hour minute now um, there's a couple other rules here. The date and the time must be in the future, at least 10 minutes uh, ahead of when you upload it. The time needs to end with a five or a zero. So you can't have times like 923. You need to have 920 or 925. And there should only be one message for each time. So you can't schedule two messages at the same time. Uh, the message, duplicate messages are not allowed. So each message has to be different and obviously there's a 140 character limit and 116 if you are using a link in the third column uh, the link is optional as it says and the message limit you can only schedule up to 350 messages per upload 
across all your social networks. So if you are using this list and posting it to more than one network, you have to factor that in. So if you have, if you have, what is it? It says here, if you, you know, if you schedule it to five social networks, then you can only have 70 rows because it's going to be 350 total posts that you're scheduling at once. And media, see, this is new. You, you didn't used to be able to add media, but they're letting us do that in the next step. It's a bit uh, tedious. It, it, it's it's not yet, you know, as automated as I'd like to see, but but it is better than what they had before. So let's go back here. Um, so now that we know the date structure, basically, uh, what I'm going to do is just start with today, and you know what? Actually, we'll do tomorrow. So I'm just going to do today plus one. So now this isn't the format that works for them. So this isn't going to be a valid a valid format to post. So this isn't this uh, won't work. We'll need to change this. So what I'm going to do, uh, if you missed that there, I don't know if I went too quick, but just go to the the format uh, drop down here. I click more number formats. You're just going to want to go to the custom section, and then we're just going to do it exactly like uh, what like the ones that they had. So essentially, we're going to start with month. So we'll do mm and then a forward slash dd for day forward slash and a four digit year so y y y y then we're going to do space uh, hh for hour we're going to do colon and then mm for minutes and now this is an acceptable uh, date format that they had so let's go ahead and hit enter and you can see now it changes it to to tomorrow and that is exactly at midnight. So what we're going to do there, I, I don't want the first post to go out at midnight. I want it to go out at, say, 8.30. So what I'm going to do is today plus one. I'm going to add plus time. And then we'll do 8.30. Zero seconds. Hit enter. So there we go. So the first post now is scheduled for tomorrow at 8.30. Now, since I have 200 posts, I don't want to go through and do this each time. So I just want to essentially add a day so what I what you could do if you want them all to go at the same time every day you would set it like this and then you could just do equals a1 and then you could just do plus one and then so there we go we're gonna have uh, November 5th is the first post and the second post is going out November 6th now you know if we got 20 posts just drag that down and there you go if you want to change the date essentially all you need to do is instead of a1 plus one which would be one day, you're going to also add plus time, which is, in my case, I just wanted to do uh, th 30 minutes, but let's say you only want to do a 15 minute change. We'll do 15, zero seconds, 845, and now we're going to fill this down. And there we go. Uh, one goes every day, and the time changes by 15 minutes. Now, you obviously don't need to do that. That was a very specific situation, but, but that's how I wanted to do it. Um, the one thing now, though, to get this to work properly is because these are these are formulas. So in CSV, that's not going to work. So what you want to do is just highlight this whole the whole column. You're going to want to do copy, Control C or Command C on the Mac, and then paste special, and then you're just going to want to just paste the values. Hit OK, and now each of these is a properly formatted probably formatted column actually doesn't look proper but from my last test that seemed to work so uh, we'll delete this one for now this is the this is the sheet that I'm going to be using so now we'll go back to the bulk uploader and we're going to want to pick our CSV file that we just saying so we'll select file to upload chalkboard tweets that's the one I just did okay now you're gonna pick pick your networks um, I've got a few clients on here, so I've got this one hidden. But there, essentially, I'm going to post it to the Everything Marketing channel, and then we're going to hit uh, Next to upload the file. Now, this this takes a bit of time, so I'll, I'll fast forward this a little bit. I guess it depends on how many how many tweets you have, but um, in this case, it takes about um, a, a minute or two. Okay, so now that these have all uploaded, you can see I've got. 212 messages here. Um, if you scroll down, you can see them all. Uh, what time they're scheduled for the network? You can select an individual message and do something with it. If you want to, if you want to schedule that one right now or discard it, that's fine. 
Um, otherwise, you can click here to schedule all messages. Or if you want, you can click on an individual message to edit that one. So now you can edit uh, one message at a time. You can see how many characters you got left, what network it's going to. Um, you can't change that, it doesn't look like. But the media section, it gives you, based on the URL, that if you put one in, it'll give you some suggested images. So you can you can click that if you want, and it will, and it will update there. Um, in this case, I, I don't want to use that one, so I'll just close that. <clears throat> I'm actually going to uh, go through and edit and edit these, uh, which is the part um, I had kind of gotten to this stage before, which is how I saw that it was a bit tedious. Un unfortunately, you can't put a URL yet to add the image, so I'm going to have to go and uh, put those in in manually, um, which which isn't a problem, but uh, it, it will take a bit of time. So. You know, I'm going to... I'll, I'll do this one here. I've got these. You know, add it, upload it. Um, I won't make you guys sit through that. But once... I just wanted to show you one other thing. But once you add this here, you can actually go to preview that indiv individual message. So, click preview. And I'll warn you that the cropping may be slightly different. I actually tested this one already, so I'm not going to post this. But it actually does the proper dimension so it did post this it didn't crop it into a square it, it, it posted the entire image which is a, a 16 by 9 image so that that worked out great um, and then so once you're done with that you can just go to edit or you could go to schedule and it'll schedule that individual that individual message so for in my case i want to delete this one so i'm just going to select this one message and discard selected are you sure you want to discard yes So now I'll go through and and upload these images here, but uh, we'll do it. Do it on fast forward here, so you guys don't have to sit through that because it's uh, a bit of a pain. Okay, well that took a long time. I would say <clears throat> if I hadn't been recording it I probably would have stopped and and figured something else out because uh, it took way too long I, I uploaded uh, 210 images there um, my recommendation would be if you are uploading individual images for each of them um, find a different method uh, there's probably something easier uh, than this if you're just going with the text and the link then go for it then it then it is um, incredibly incredibly helpful and it will speed up the process but yeah that the adding images was was not a pleasant experience um, it took that long and a couple things I noticed one was if you select the file and upload it but you change to the next message before it's 100% uploaded then you lose that and you have to do uh, do that one again um, but there we go. Those are all done. If you're wondering why, I, I, my idea behind this is that um, all these all these graphics that I had made before, uh, I'll send a tweet out. Maybe those will get picked up in in someone's searches or something, and they'll see the images, and and uh, it will drive them to the page. Um, it seems a bit odd, but I, I just wanted to test it out and see if that would work to drive any traffic. Um, if you're interested in how that turns out, just check out the. Check out the Plexkit site uh, in about uh, 210 days. That's when I'll post um, some information on how it went, and and so you guys can see if it was a worthwhile tactic. My my first guess is that it is probably not going to drive a lot of traffic, but but we'll we'll see how it goes. I had done a, a campaign in the past using the bulk uploader with some targeted targeted uh, tweets to people, and it was unbelievably uh, effective. Um, if you're interested in the stats and that, just just uh, hop over to the to the blog and and uh, I've got them listed there. Um, okay, so moving forward, let's hope that I had this this fear the entire time that I was doing this, or at least when I got near the end, that that something would crash and I'd refresh this page or something and lose it all. So so let's see how this goes. We'll select them all here and schedule selected. So fingers crossed here. We'll just sit and wait and see see what the messages it gives us are. Yeah, if you do have to go through and upload that many pictures, I'd suggest putting Netflix or something on in the background. Uh, 
All right, so let's finish. It took about uh, five minutes, I'd say. Um, so let's uh, view the scheduled messages here and see. All right, so there we go. Starting on Sunday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, all the way down. Let's go down here. And we can see these are now scheduled all the way to June 8th of 2017. Fantastic. Can we uh, see if we can see what happens if we edit one here? I guess we can just uh, edit it as, as usual here. We could change any of this stuff here, but we're going to leave that for now. So awesome. There we go. We've got those all scheduled. Uh, I hope that helps anyone out a bit who is having trouble. Um, yeah, like I said, if you are uploading the images, I, I might try to think of a, a different strategy there. Um, otherwise, this is a great tool. I mean, uh, 200 tweets in, in not, not too much time. Uh, and it looks good to me. Anyway, good luck with your scheduling and take care. Bye.